No, that outbreak is, will surely happen. Okay, it will affect more places and more people will be dropping dead. Okay, if they're if they're gonna call martial law on on this and and, and various other things, man, you know, I say bring it on, man. Let's 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 get this thing rolling, man. Okay, praising the most side that you know it be so, and this this thing can kick off quickly, so it can end quicker, man. Right, Zechariah chapter one verse fifteen. Okay, it reads here. I am very displeased, so displeased with the heathen. Okay, so that encompasses the heathen encompasses Edomites. Okay, you're the worst of the heathen. Okay, so you you're the top of that list. Okay, and and the, the subsequent other nation, nations, man, like the Arabs and the Chinese and the Japanese, and you know, that includes all of you outside the nation of Israel. Okay. Outside the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, okay, and their descendants, okay, the Lord Most High is displeased with you, man, okay, but it gets worse. It says, uh, "I am very disp displeased with the heathen that are at ease, for I was but a little displeased, and they helped forward the affliction." Okay, so everything you've done to the nation of Israel, man, you've helped forward the affliction, man, that you're going to receive. Okay, the most high is gonna deal worse with you because of what because what you've done to us, man. If you hadn't done done anything to us, then your punishment would be milder. Okay, if I'm gonna put it like that. Okay, but every every nation has had had its uh, part in oppressing us, man, and put us in, into slavery. Therefore, no nation is um can avoid what I want to use no no nation is excluded from the punishment or the judgment that the Mosai is gonna bring upon this earth. Okay, that's why these other nations can't be saved. Because they have to pay for their punishments uh, for for their wickedness. Okay? Which means they're gonna be punished, okay? Ain't no one gonna be saved from those nations. The nations have to be punished. Okay, so Lord ain't hearing no one's prayers to be saved that are not of the nation of Israel. Okay, that's just not going to happen. Okay. It's Isaiah 34. Uh, verse 8. I'm going to read on down. Okay, for it is the day of the Lord's vengeance. Okay, that's oh, this is what this is all about, man. This is about vengeance, man. The Lord's been waiting this whole time for us to realize who the hell we are. Okay, and you know, get right with the Most High. Okay, the the one third of us. Okay, the elect. Okay, he's been waiting for for this day to to happen. Okay, that we can finish our punishment and that he can bring vengeance upon these other nations for us. Okay, this is what the day is about. This day is about the most Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, the day the Lord exacts His vengeance. Okay, which is going to use His Son to do that. Okay, Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Shai could receive the glory of doing that. Okay, this is about vengeance. This is about righteousness. This is about justice, man. Okay, this is about restoring order in the world. Okay, the Most High has been waiting for this day since He created it. Okay, all the way at the beginning. Okay, this day was already created. Okay, and time has had to get to this point. Okay. And the year of, sorry, carrying on, and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. Okay, so like I said, this is all about, you know, the, the most size vengeance against these other nations for what you've done to his people, to, na to, to Zion, the nation of Israel. Okay, not them gutterites in the land of Israel today, because they ain't they ain't Israelites, man. They don't belong to, to to the seed, the nation of Israel. Okay, they're just a bunch of gutterite converts, man, but, uh, who are covering well, 
not covering up very well, but covering covering up the fact that they're really the, the, the devil and not the children of God. Okay, so it's not talking about them. Okay, it's talking about the children of Israel that are oppressed in this world, man, because that's that's our position right now at the bottom of the pile. Okay, because we need we need saving, we need delivering. Okay, these these fucking gutter right Jews in, in in Israel today, man, they don't need saving for shit. They got all the money, all the resources to blow up and buy anything they want. Okay, it's us that we de that need defending. We haven't got shit out here. We ain't got our own nation. We ain't got our own army. We ain't got got no fucking money. We're all broke as hell, living in fucking ghettos, man. It's us that need saving. Okay, because such is such is the uh, condition that we're living in right now, which has been prophesied in the scriptures. Okay, so that's talking about us, man. Okay, for the controversy controversy of us and what we've been through under you, under you other nations and under the hand of Esau. Okay? Verse 9 And the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch and the dust thereof into brimstone and the land thereof shall become burning pitch. Again, this is the judgment of Babylon, okay, which is the land of America. Okay? It shall not be quenched night nor day. The smoke thereof shall go up forever. From generation to generation it shall lie waste. None shall pass through it forever and ever. But the cormorant and the bittern shall possess it, the owl also and the raven shall dwell in it, and he shall stretch out upon it the line of confusion and the stones of emptiness. Okay, America is going to be such a mess after the Lord's finished with it, after the nuclear destruction that is going to occur in that land. Okay, then you're not going to, to tell what was there, man. You ain't going to know what state that used to be, you ain't going to, you ain't going to tell nothing, man. It's just going to look like a big fucking pile of shit, pile of mess, man. Okay? This could be confusing, like the scripture says here. Alright, the second Ezra. Chapter 15, verse 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, a sword, famine, death, and destruction. Okay, that can be summed up right now. You know, the popular thing right now is that Ebola, okay, all these wars that are going on in the world right now, these riots in, in Ferguson, Missouri, okay, amongst other things that are happening in the world right now. Okay, the Lord is bringing all of this. Okay, plagues, sword, okay, war, famine, death, destruction. The Lord is bringing all this upon this upon this earth right now. Okay, this is the time of judgment. Okay, this is the time of the end. Okay, so all these things shall come to pass. It says, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Okay, so under the so-called white man's rule. Okay, wickedness has exceedingly polluted the earth. Okay, this is this is the worst time. This is the worst it's ever been in the whole of time. Okay, wickedness is 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 infinitely grown under the so-called white man's rule. Okay. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And like I said, you can see that all in the news today, man. Okay, this this has been going on for far too long now, and the Lord is is not going to be like it says here, holding his tongue no more. Okay, which means you know your judgment is is on its way. Okay, he's not going to let you continue doing the things that you that you be doing out here. All this wickedness that you're doing to continue. Okay, the most is gonna put a stop to all of this, man. Okay. So the innocent and righteous blood, okay, that's that's the Israelite blood that is talking about here, that's being spilt out here. Okay, the most has had enough. Okay. So then therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. 
Okay, the law is gonna avenge us, man. Okay, right now we don't have the power to avenge ourselves, man. That's why we, we wait upon the Lord to bring vengeance. Okay. That's what we're waiting for right here, man. We 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 stand on the highs and always bold and talking about your destruction, okay, and the downfall of your kingdom. But we're not gonna be able to physically do that ourselves, man. That's why we have to wait upon the Lord. Okay, the Lord is gonna do all this. Okay, by the by the will of the most high. Okay. It's verse 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Okay, we're going to be delivered from the, the Americas, okay, the North America. Okay, the brothers, the elect that are in the land of America, man, they're going to be delivered. Okay, and you know, and the rest of Egypt, okay, which is the rest of the so called white man system. Okay, we're all the, the, the Lord's elect, okay, the one third of Israel, they're going to be delivered from, from this land. Okay, for my captivity. Okay, because that's what Egypt represents, man. It represents bondage. Okay, that's what the word means. Verse 11 But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy, destroy all the land thereof. Okay, so just like before when the Lord delivered the, the, the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, you know, He He done many, full, uh, many powerful and miraculous, miraculous acts. He did in Egypt, okay. He hardened Pharaoh's heart so that he could de demonstrate his power, okay. And the same thing is going on today, okay. The elites know that their time is up, okay, and they, they can't they can't keep this charade up for much longer, okay. But they're they're, they're um, being defiant, okay. They're, they're they're convinced that they can rule on this earth forever, okay, and and fight off the Lord. And the angels and and you know the Messiah, okay, Yahweh Shai, they they believe they they can win, they, they can destroy and and beat them, and continue to reign on the earth, okay. But that's that's a, a a vain illusion, okay. That's a vain illusion, man. That's just the Lord hardening their hearts to make them believe that they have some kind of hope that they can you know continue on their 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 system, man, and bring in their one world government. Okay, that ain't, that ain't gonna happen, man. Okay, the most is bringing these plagues and, and, and these calamities upon this upon this system. That's why it's been in decline for for a long, long time now. Okay, and you know things are already gonna get worse. The plagues are gonna get worse. You know, everything is gonna get worse before the most high brings brings peace to this earth, man. Okay, but before peace, man, there has to come destruction. Okay, this this, this kingdom has to be destroyed before the righteous kingdom of, of the Israelites can be established okay um, Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and the punishment that God shall bring upon it okay much more they that till the ground shall mourn for their seed shall fail through the blasting and hell and with a fearful constellation okay that's been happening for the last few years now man you know the people the farmers crops man they've been going for a drought there over in america okay so people's uh harvest hasn't been so great okay they've had to, they're having to depend on more imports okay as well as well as the rest of the world they've had to rely on more imports okay to have enough you know grain you know and and, and stuff like that man okay the laws bring in pestilence to 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 these 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 lands, man. Okay, we're failing crops and you know weather storms and you know all all kinds of stuff, man. The most size, you know, making your crops fail. Okay. It says for their sheep, their seeds shall fail through the blasting and hell and with a fearful constellation. Woe to the world, and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. Okay, there's going to be a great divide. Okay, this divide has already started. Okay, with all this this tension in 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 America, in Europe. Okay, all these um, right wing sectors, you know, the nationalists. Okay, these these they're already separating themselves from 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 the other nations that are that are in their countries. Okay, these other